Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing good. Today I'm going to explain about how how to troubleshoot using XML stats and threads. Okay. So let's see. Let's see what is the XML stats and what are threads. So how to navigate it, how to identify or how, how we can use these logs. Okay, for troubleshooting. Okay, let's see. So oh. log into uh, your system or customer system. Okay, before um, giving some demo, let me explain some uh, theoretical words. Okay, so what is the uh, XML uh, stats? Okay, what it does? Okay, uh, what information we can gather? Okay, for example, there is a discovery plugin. Okay, which you cannot activate from um, uh, the instance. You should uh, write a request in service uh, high portal, service now high portal, and then you will get it. Okay, so for suppose if you install it and uh, you are not able to see uh, the information about in the left navigation. Okay, then um, then you can check if the plugin is installed or not or something. Okay, so usually the plugins. Um, plugins not normally visible to an admin okay so those information you can see you can see mid server information okay mid server information you can see out of memory error, error okay out of uh, memory errors also and also jvm uh, machines jvm information so all these things you can see it okay so how we can navigate we, how we will navigate okay so uh, in the URL, just uh, uh, type XML uh, stats dot do. Okay, click on it and enter. Okay, so wait for it to uh, to show in an XML file format. Okay, so this is the XML stats. Okay, so you will get all the informations about uh, all the things. Okay, so uh, plugin information, uh, uh, JVM information, mid server information, you can find like a control F uh, if you want to find something. Uh, uh, mid server information, control F, uh, mid underscore server. Okay, so here we don't have any mid server, so we are not able to see um, those information details. Okay, so mid server details. And uh, if you want to, uh, if you want to know about uh, plugins information, okay, uh, plugins. Okay, so. So there are a lot. Uh, you can see the plugins. What is how when it is installed? Okay, what type of plugin it is? Okay, uh, so you can see the install date when it is installed. Okay. So. Uh, uh, and what type of uh, memory? Okay. Uh, memory, memory, okay. Uh, memory is like uh, okay, so let's uh, uh, go memory underscore okay, max or something. So you can see, So, uh, so here you can see well, what is the maximum memory allocated to your system, 352. What is total available, 175, okay? In use, 66, 166. So if something, if tot max and the total is same, or like in use is same, okay? Um, so uh, max memory and the total and, uh, okay? And in use is same, okay? Uh, then 
uh, you have to uh, request fire service now support team that uh, uh, that my our uh, total and the news are same. So please increase our memory or something like that. Okay, you need to write then a uh, uh, ticket to the support team. And also you can see JVM information. Okay, JVM is nothing but Java Virtual Machines or JVM, so we'll call it. Okay, so it will be different. Um, uh, you can see different classes, uh, different uh, difference of uh, JVM classes between nodes because of uh, um the user activities in the sections are going on or uh, something like that okay let's uh, type a jvm jvm here yeah, let's uh, uh, you can see jvm version jvm time friendly what all the types of the user uh, sections okay so all these things uh, you can see okay for example now uh, if i go to uh, the same url in the it view okay in the it view so i know that i have installed them disco uh, let's check the discovery module okay discovery so I'm not able to see the discovery module here. So I know that I have installed, uh, but to confirm uh, if the plugin is installed or not, just go and uh, search with the discovery, okay, discovery. So yes, uh, there is an uh, activity discovery plugin is installed, okay, discovery API, discovery core, all this you can see. Uh, you can see when it is installed, all these things you can, um, you can check those details and then, okay, so it is installed, but um, to show you example, I have uh, deactivated uh, uh, the modules, okay, application menus, in application menus, type uh, discovery and search it okay so let's remove the active is equal to true so these modules i have uh, deactivated so that's the reason uh, uh, we are not able to see uh, discovery here so now you can see the discovery all these things discovery okay so that's why so that's how uh, you can use uh, uh, xml stats that do to uh, identify the plugin information so or uh, um, mid server information out of memory information okay out of memory information jvm information so all these kind of things you can uh, um, you can uh, um, okay, you can get all this information in XML stats. And uh, now, um, what is a uh, thread? Okay, T H R E A D S thread. Okay, thread is a, is a path. Okay, taken when a program is executed. Generally, all programs have at least uh, one thread that is provided by JVM at the start of the program execution. Okay, so. Uh, it, uh, so, for example, if anything, any scripts are executing or any notifications, okay, or anything, okay, so those are called the threads, okay. Uh, how you can see the threads? Uh, just uh, uh, type threads dot two, okay, uh, threads dot two, D H R E, okay, A D S dot two, threads dot two. So all these, all the threads will be available here. Okay, all the threads will be available here. So why we use these threads? Okay, uh, when uh, at when uh, you we need to use these threads? I will explain you now. Okay. Um, so for example, if something is running very slow. Okay, uh, if some business, if, if you open a farm and it is running and it is loading, 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 and uh, it is not able to um, give you the access, so you want to know what is causing the issue. So, uh, if you go to stats.2, okay, stats.2, okay. Under uh, semaphore sets, uh, you will see here what is uh, causing more, okay? What is the issue, all these things, okay? A semaphore, what is semaphore? A semaphore is a count of threads. 
that all permitted to access resources on the node. For example, uh, if you are um, Tomcat server is configured to permit n number of semaphores in total. That means that there are up to n threads that are uh, authorized to access a resource at any point in time. Okay. For example, uh, to show you something, okay, so what I have done is, um, so in the uh, CMDB, if I type CMDB groups, okay, so uh, I have created some business rule so that cause uh, this the issue like um, whenever I try to submit uh, it loads it doesn't give me the access okay so let's see what what is how we can identify that one okay uh, for example um, if I write test test or something and try to save so okay so it's um, it's running okay so but I will try to create one business rule okay. Uh, uh, I will try to create uh, one business rule now. BR test, okay, something uh, which I will write uh, before insert, um, before insert, um, some add message. I'm setting the fields like, uh, um, a description to something okay test test or something okay and advance in this i will type a gs dot sleep for uh, some seconds okay and submit it just I'm trying to, oh, I'm showing you the slow business rules or uh, how the, uh, how can we identify the issue is something like that, okay? So let's, I'm trying to create some uh, uh, example and save it. You see, it is running, okay? So to identify what I have done is I have, uh, um, I, I have opened the instance in, uh, uh, this uh, let's log in in incognito mode okay let's log in in incognito mode let's log in it and go to stats dot do stats dot do so here in the semaphore set, you can see what is causing the issue. Default thread is six, it's taking time, okay? So these are the threads, okay? If you click on the thread in your semaphore, okay? So you can identify, like, uh, you can see the sys script uh, call, okay? What is sys script? Go to sys script, okay, table. Okay, uh, let's uh, duplicate this one. Let's go to IT view. This script dot uh, list. Okay, this is script dot list. Now um, we have um, is society here okay this is called society just copy the society and go to uh, societies society starts with or anything run so you see the br test which we created okay so to resolve this we need to fix this br or we need to deactivate it we need to deactivate it okay now it is still running, okay, to, uh, you know, to kill this transaction, what we need to do is um, uh, go to, go to transactions, okay. Transactions, active, uh, active transactions all nodes, go to active transactions, okay, so it fetch. So this one is loading, okay? And this one is loading from two minutes, age is two minutes. Just um, click on this one and kill it.
okay so it it kill okay so it got killed and you can see the card is not found okay so then you will get that uh, access back okay you will get the access back okay now we have deactivated the business rule now if you submit it uh, it will it will fix okay it will fix the same okay it is created all these things okay so that's simple that is how uh, uh, we will uh, uh, that is how we need to use our uh, uh, xml stats dot do and uh, trads, trads dot do okay xml uh, basically we used to we need to know that uh, what are the plugins and uh, are executed using xml uh, stats dot do and uh, trades dot do uh, that is like uh, uh, what are the um, uh, what are the slow business rules or uh, long taking queries? So you can find in the semaphore sets. Okay, each semaphore trades, uh, if a transaction like integration trades, all these things, if any transaction is causing any slowness, you can see here and you can go to that particular thread and you can uh, check uh, okay, well, what is the issue, whether, 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 um, whether it is a uh, um business rule or uh, schedule job or any rest messages or any integration call anything we can find it okay so that's a simple way to use xml starts and that, that start to okay yeah that's it thank you please do subscribe to get alerts for upcoming videos hope you will enjoy online service now thank you very much for your time